My favorite thing about HBA is definitely the people. Uh, the close-knit group of friends that I can have. How the teachers and staff care. Definitely say that my favorite thing is probably the campus. Even in the snow. Just sometimes when you have free time, you can hang out with your friends and just relax. Diversity. It's such a friendly environment, like, you know, there's no, bu there's not much bullying, if there's like no bullying actually, and like everybody loves everybody and it's a really nice place. I strive to be better and better every single day when I come here because I have that environment, the teachers are really encouraging and they want us to do our best and I think that on top of that, um, the spiritual growth that we receive during that really helps. Uh, I feel like I matured a little bit more since freshman year because I actually take things like my schooling and education more serious now. I got more responsible. I feel like I've grown a lot in communicating and uh, networking with people here at the school. I Honestly, I can say that I have better study habits. You know, grades is a very important thing because I went from pretty much a B and C student to all A's and B's. I've learned that I infect people around me by being happy and loving and caring. I learned to open up and show who Jacob is. People say it a lot and I hate to like admit it because I'm like, well, I've always been this way. But uh, honestly, I think I have grown as a, as a person and more like realizing my goals and what I want to do with myself. If you value something in someone else and you say, dang it, I wish more people were like that. I learned that you have to first make sure that, you're, that you personally are acting the way you want other people to act because it starts with you. And I didn't realize that before and I think especially senior year has really helped me understand that. Uh, actually, it was actually my enrollment here because at first I didn't have money to come here but my parents really wanted me to go to private school. So I actually prayed on my own to see I get the money to come here. Then I skipped my uh, uh, sophomore year. So I earned money, I came back and had enough money to pay for my tuition and other stuff. So yeah, prayer probably here has probably worked the most for me. He will always have your back. Whatever you do, if you ask him for forgiveness, he's not gonna like freak out and kill you. That's not gonna happen because he's a loving God, like he is the definition of love. Even though people can be very different from each other, from physical attributes to like the way they act, uh, God loves all of us equally and the same. His love is unconditional and he'll love me no matter what I do or say. He doesn't leave me alone. He's always there to help me even if I don't like see him around or like get the exact answer I want. We may not feel him, but he is always there. Yes, he's a personal God, and yes, he's a big God, but he's actually bigger than we can even imagine. So it really takes that relationship and really working hard to develop it and studying and prayer and all kinds of things in order to get to know him better. No matter what happens, like all the bad stuff that can happen in your life, God is always going to be there for you. And all the stuff that he does, is, is it really is out of love, and that's something that's, that's amazing to understand. That's what I learned from... HVA.